They are ranked Eight, number one in this seven, competition right now. Polywog just a devastating five, robot. Four, three, Facing off against two, Anthony D'Ambrosio from Team fight, P1. Robots, uh, about this season. Oh, oh, big pop in the air. Polywog on Blackbird. Polywog just so low to the ground, so fast. And that drum is just tightly compacted kinetic energy. Delivering these massive hits. Anthony D'Ambrosio trying to get closer to the action here, cage side. Wow. Ooh, that was good hits. Oh, these are massive hits between these two robots. Polywog wearing Blackbird as a hat. Oh, nice hit there from Polywog. You can see a strategy really developing from Polywog here. They stay directly on top of Blackbird, not giving them much space to move. And when Blackbird tries to turn around and get itself some space, Polywog comes in and hits that back plate. It's happened about six times so far in this match. That's exactly right. They're not really giving Blackbird a chance to use that slight weapon reach advantage over Polywog. Polywog constantly on the six of Blackbird. Oh, big hit. That's kind of a perfect hit there for Polywog. Yeah. Now Blackbird had a few seconds. They've got their weapon up to full speed, and they are All on right. the aggression. This is how quickly these matches can turn around, but can, uh, can Anthony capitalize on that and keep the momentum going in his favor? And now he's kind of stuck in the corner with Polywog. With a match this close, it typically comes down to the last 60 seconds in the eyes of the judges. They're looking for damage, they're looking for aggression, and they're looking for control. With both of these weapons fully, uh, fully spun up, I'm sure one of them would love to earn a knockout here. Oh, big pop in the air from Polywog on Blackbird. 30 seconds left. So much power behind that Polywog weapon. 20 seconds left on the clock. Topping Blackbird behind Brett. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapons. Drive to the door. Oh, Blackbird right. ends on top of Polywog. And uh, Polywog drives Blackbird to the door. Wow. Good hug there, Anthony and uh, Aria. All right, uh, your thoughts on this fight. Wow, that was really, really back and forth. It was. One, it of, was. one, of, one of the things that I'm really looking for with Anthony D'Ambrosio is, is weapon reliability. I yeah. think that Anthony runs the most reliable out of all of his shredded teammates. You know, his robot is really built to an incredibly high standard. Yeah. Uh, it looks like uh, we're going to go over to Katie, and she's got a, uh, an interview here with David. Yeah, Polywog really showed up for that. Actually, both Blackbird and you guys, that was an incredible battle back and forth. The one thing they kept saying, though, for you was the power that you had. How would you define that? Well, I don't have the biggest weapon in the world, but uh, it's pretty reliable, and I usually lean on the fact that the drum never stops spinning. Um, as you saw there, it kept spinning the whole match. Everything seems more or less OK. Uh, should be an OK repair. Why was that so fun for both of you? We always love when fights go three minutes. When both bots are working the entire time, it always makes the most sparks, and everyone likes to see that. All right, and lastly, what does he have as a competitor? What does he? Uh, his reliability. I mean, that's why we won three minutes. Um, I don't actually know who won that match. Uh, we're waiting for the judges still, but it was still a really fun match. Yeah. All right, and that is a good segue over to the judges. What you got? Ooh. Close match. Uh, we love when both of the bots are still kicking and screaming the whole three minutes. It's much better than when they both die and just push around. But uh, we all agree Polywog controlled that and just was in charge the whole time. Yeah.